Hey guys, this is Tony, also known as Film Buff 80. And uh, I wanna just do my overview of the E3 conferences. Uh, Microsoft in general um, was a slow fest. Um, it, was, it was casual all the way for them again this year. Um, a lot of connect uh, implements on hardcore games like Mass Effect and um, some other sports titles. But uh, I mean, it wasn't nothing. I'm not saying any, the connecting, you know, impressive hardware because it is. Um, but you need a control. I, I personally like the move a little bit better, as you can see in the background. It just it, it has a controller. It, it has a, a feel of the Wii, and I do enjoy the Wii. So I feel that it just it's just a better thing. But this does not digress. The most impressive thing of the whole conference, I only watched 40 minutes of it because my computer started acting up and that would be the Tomb Raider and the Modern Warfare. The Modern Warfare wasn't that impressive actually but the Tomb Raider was and then Sony came out with predictable games and uh, there were, a lot of gamers knew they were coming and they even showed Infamous 2 which was coming out the next day they were just drawing up hype for it I guess and um, they did apologize. There's the welcome back program where everybody knows, and that was that was greatly appreciated because I didn't own a lot of those games, and uh, so I'm I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying the free games, and um, the PSP, the first PSP, was getting a lot of bad rap. But now that the new PSP Vita is coming out, it is a little upsetting that they're porting. Uh, PS3 games on there. It does look way impressive. It looks better than the 3DS. It has a uh, great price. Everybody knows the price already. And um, it's just an awesome, awesome looking system. Um, and I do like the games. I'm sorry I'm looking down, but I was just looking at something um, because I got uh, written words on the bottom here. And it, it just. It was wholly impressive, totally impressive. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I mean, I'll, I'll talk about in depth what games I really are looking forward to. But it it was it was there was a lot of content. There was a lot of straightforward stuff. They were just hitting us, hitting us, kept hitting us with games. So it was a it was a, a good a good conference on the on their part. I don't know why some people didn't like the conference. I thought they were, I mean, besides them showing stuff that we already knew, the Dust MMO, which is whatever, because I don't I don't know, they, someone keeps sh um, announcing MMOs and then some MMOs don't go as planned, like the Final Fantasy XIV, what happened to that? We were not hearing anything. I heard bad reviews, but I figured they would still come out with the game, so I don't see it this year, I don't know what's going on. And last year they do that a lot. Sony does that a lot. They'll announce something, and something will get lost in the in the production. Something happened, I would assume. Um, but you know, hopefully, some of these MMOs get a little attraction because uh, you know that 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 would uh, mean that the, the the consoles are getting as high as powerful as a PC. And you know, there's a lot of the PC uh, elite people out here on YouTube that of course believe that the PC is the, the overall better cons uh, better platform to play on but um, I, I do enjoy the PC games and I want to get a rig of my own eventually um, that would that would play great PC games and PC games are just way overly more impressive in a sense of moddings and stuff like that which is awesome but uh, you know that is due time um, and uh, we'll, I'll see what happens. There's a lot of ports of PC games coming out to the consoles too nowadays, which is uh, hopefully not watered. Well, a lot of them are watered down versions of the other PC games. But uh, let's move on because I'm talking so much about PC games and stuff like that now. I don't know why. But uh, when and now I'm going to talk about the Nintendo conference. The Nintendo conference was, was kind of impressive. They didn't talk much about the Wii games. Uh, besides, the only game we can think of is Scar uh, Skyward Sword, and um, 
you know, they didn't show much, but uh, the music was great. I know that they're doing the concert stuff. It's awesome. I, I'll probably check it out if it comes through my city. And um, hmm, what else did I want to talk about? The uh, Wii U. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be $400 when it's released. There's a lot of impressive and innovative things you can do with that um, control. Did uh, they copy uh, the Wii? I mean, did the Wii copy Apple or did the uh, or reference the Apple? I think maybe they did, but that doesn't mean anything bad about them. And um, they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't show much game, so it wasn't. And they didn't talk about the console itself, so it was weird. Um, I was kind of confused when I first saw it, so I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" But um, you know, uh, is it going to be heavy? I think it's more of a control that you can use as a supplement. It's as an accessory to the Wii U, or if that's the console's name, or is that the controller's name? I'm not too sure. I got to get more information on that. Um, then we go on to the the the, the, the sub conferences like Konami and Ubisoft and EA. EA showed Battlefield, which looks way better than Battle um, Modern Warfare 3, to my in my opinion, and it's probably gonna be the first time I play Battlefield, you know, uh, religiously. <laughs> and um, I was really impressed with that. Um, looking out for other EA games, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, you know, you have to buy some EA games. They're they're a, pr a pr uh, pr production company. You gotta just look out for um then we got of course Ubisoft did the ghost recon which was really impressive i i'm a fan of the ghost recon series and the rayman series as well so i was i was uh taken aback on that and also the um the assassin's creed stuff i wanted to watch that so that was pretty good and konami did the whole how they're going to give some collections of course our way for the Xbox and the uh, PS3 owners, so that's that's a good thing. And um, kind of upset that there's a lot of uh, this collection stuff going on, but I'm also in a way I'm happy about it too because there's a lot of games that are coming into collections that I personally never owned, and now I can get to play them, or hopefully eventually play them. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later, and uh, keep it gaming. Definitely leave a comment, sub if you haven't, and thumbs this up, man. I need more uh, thumbs up. All right, guys, please leave a video response if you if you want.